It's a pleasure. Uh, always admired your writing, your work, so it's a joy to have you here. Thanks very much. How long have you been in the sport? Oh, I've been in the sport most of my life. I started uh, keeping them as a boy, mainly in showing. Yeah. It's only the latter few years that I've uh, taken racing seriously, and yeah. I've gone in for the uh, classics and nationals more than club racing. Yeah. What's one or two of your best positions? Uh, I've won the section down here twice. Um, last year I was third in the Youngbird National, so I almost made it a hat trick of section wins. Yeah. Um, and I've had various other positions, and bearing in mind I'm only sending one or two a race, I, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. I, I'm a very small team man. You know. Yeah. How about you on the show side? Well, showing, like I say, was always my main uh, uh, occupation. Uh, showing, I've won most of the top shows. Um, at one time, I never missed a show. Uh, in later years, because of business commitments, I've tended not to travel as much. I've tended to judge more than I've shown. Yeah. Um, racing has probably taken over somewhat, but um, nearly nearly every big show I've won at. One year I had five winners at uh, Blackpool. Um, I've won uh, the show of the year. I've won three times running uh, the, the Great Yorkshire when it was the top one day show. So I've been around a long time and uh, had some marvellous... Uh, yeah, I must say, I've always things. admired your performances. I love the show pigeons. I know I'm a racing man myself, but Good. I am a showman at heart. Well, we'll take a look at them in a minute and uh, you can uh, tell me what you think of them. This is the medallion cock. Um, he's ten years old now, but in his time was a terrific uh, winner. He won the Welsh uh, Region Showing Award and then he won the Devon and Cornwall Region Showing Award. Best of was at Sex at Blackpool. He won his classes at the Comrades, Blackpool, um, Birmingham and various other shows. And all in all, he's been around at all the top uh, shows. Terrific breeder and terrific in body. You can pick this pigeon up 365 days a year and he's in show condition. Absolutely he's, wonderful, isn't he? He's the sort of pigeon uh, we dream of owning, you know. When do you pair the show birds up then, Doug? Is it any different to the racing pigeons? Yes, I tend to pair up uh, early in January. Um, a lot depends on how soon you want the young birds to show. I used to start showing in uh, May and therefore it was imperative to start in either early January or even mid-December. Mm -hmm. Nowadays I have one or two shows only, um, I'm showing at the Royal Welch next month and I hope to have some young birds ready for that. Yeah. How about feeding your show birds, what are they fed on? Pretty well uh, a, the same all the year round, a, a good hard mixture, one with plenty of protein but I believe in uh, a good variety of grains yeah. and I also tend to use a bit of uh, small seed as well. Yeah. How about doing the molting moats? During the malt, again, very much the same thing, uh, plenty of variety. I just think that uh, I don't like eating uh, steak all mm. every, with every meal, and I think that the birds like a change and that mm. variety as well. Yeah, do they fly out at all? Yes, yes, uh, not as readily as the uh, racers, but I like to have them out, and uh, believe me, there's nothing better than to see a beautiful powder blue out there on top of the loft. No. This is the scene inside one of the old bird sections in the show lot. How many pairs of show birds do you keep then, Doug? During the breeding season I try to get down to 12 or 14 pairs. This year I had one or two more because I've um, diversified my colours, which uh, I love powder blues, but this year I've gone over to the more unusual colours like the lavenders, the yellows and the creams, just for a bit of interest and yeah. I've quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Where do your birds originate from? From Cornwall, uh, a man called Reg Brown down in St Day. He had marvellous powder blues which I had always admired as a schoolboy and his came from the South Sea lofts of C.R. Snow and my blues today are still virtually the same family as I bought from him in 1962. Yeah, wonderful pigeons. Mm. 
Basically I work with uh, three compartments here, two of which have nest boxes and then a young bird compartment here. And I've got uh, a set of four pens here which I use for pen training and most times I've got young birds in here being trained ready for the shows because I believe that early pen training in their careers helps them no end later on. Yeah, well, it must be an advantage to have them pen train, must not it? Oh yes, I have got a, a separate penning room as well which I uh, use. Uh, I make that more realistic by basketing the birds and taking them around to that. And if I've got friends coming, I get them to judge them for me. But I do believe that pen training is uh, essential. These are young birds then, Doug. How many babies you breed each season? About 50. I'm uh, up to 50 this year because of breeding a few extra colours. But uh, 50 is about it to get a good show team at the end of the season. Yeah. Do you scrape the loft out every day? Yes, I, I keep... Uh, clean floors. I, I used to try, I've tried everything, sand and straw, but I must admit I come down to uh, clean floors uh, and with a vacuum cleaner it tends to keep the dust down as well. This is a fairly uh, typical powder blue of my family. Um, you can see she's got uh, the powdering right down through. There's virtually uh, no dark colour in the in the hackle and uh, this is the family I've um, kept fairly pure now for three decades. I love powder blues and uh, when they come with white flights as well they're uh, even better and you can see that the body condition is still pretty good despite the fact that uh, they are currently feeding uh, biggish young birds. You've actually judged the broad in Doug? Yes I've judged uh, at most of the uh, top American shows, the National in New York, uh, the National Young Bird twice in Kentucky um, that is something uh, out of the ordinary, 5,000 yeah. young pigeons uh, penned in a huge amphitheatre. Yeah. And I've done show after show over there, normally mm. uh, the, 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 biggish, uh, the biggest shows. And, um, How do their pigeons compare with ours in Doug? Uh, pretty well. Uh, I think ours tend to be a little more refined uh, than a lot of theirs. Ours are what the title suggests, show racers, in other words, show variations of the racing pigeon, whereas yeah. they have tended to get rather large and a little bit vacant in expression. But um, I think our birds are still uh, the best. Brilliant. Shall we have a look at your races now, Doug? Yeah, by all means. Uh, bear in mind I'm a showman mainly, but uh, I do enjoy my racing. This has uh, proved to be my best racer uh, so far. It's a Van Bruan. He's won the section. Um, he's been third section and twelfth section uh, so far in the national. And at the moment, I'm preparing him for uh, the national Saintes uh, in four weeks' time. Beautiful and, uh, pigeon, mate. He'll, he'll be going it. with a bit of money on him. When do you pay your races up in Doug? I do it uh, sort of mid to late January, depending on the program I intend flying. That's the widowers. Yeah. Often I don't rear from them, I just allow them to sit, and then I separate them for a period of a month before putting them back on widowhood. This is Doug's stock loft, which houses all these racing stock pigeons. How big is your loft then, Doug? It's 18 foot by 9 with a corridor running along the front and uh, each compartment has access to an aviary. Um, I love having a, a stock loft because I can use it uh, both for the racers and you can probably see some of the white Kirkpatricks I've got there of the uh, Virgo lines. Um, and also I use it uh, for a pair or two of the show racers. Thanks for having me around today, Doug. This is a visit I've really, really been looking forward to. Good. It's uh, been delightful having you, and it's uh, good to have the opportunity to uh, show show racers off, because generally uh, the videos uh, deal only with racers, so uh, it's rather nice to have the uh, ability to see some show racers on. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I wish you all the best for the new season.